Sarah, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Fantastic. Hi. <laughs> so Apple Music just announced you as the next Africa Rising artist. Uh, how does that make yes. you feel? It's been amazing. I feel so great, you know, I feel so grateful. I'm so honored, you know, because I just released music like, it's not up to two months now. And you know, God has been so faithful. So I'm so grateful to Apple Music for the opportunity. But would you say it happened very early for you as an artist? Because in looking at your journey, this spotlight is coming too early mm -hmm. for you because you are pretty much still uh, a rising star. And mm -hmm. yeah, how, how did it all start for you? How did this attention that you're um, doing from everywhere. I, I, I won't say, I won't say it's, um, you know, it's like, it's, it's fast or anything like that. I feel like the pace, God has granted me this pace, you understand? You know, I've worked so hard. I worked on the EP for a year. I've been working so hard. I've been fasting, I've been praying and I've been singing all my life. I've been singing, I've been dancing all my life. So this is, I feel like at the same time that, you know, I'm honored and all, I feel like it's also kind of deserved. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, so what was it part of your strategy putting out these cover versions online? We sort of uh, took off and you got discovered one way or the other. What was it part of your strategy or you were just having fun? Um, at first I was having fun because, you know, I was very shy at what I, at what I did at singing and all that. I didn't know how, if people would enjoy my music. I just could hear from like family, like, oh, you sing really good. I knew in my mind I sang really good, but I just was so scared of what people would think on the internet. So I was so scared of posting, of posting covers. You know, then I started posting. And I started posting. I saw that, oh, people really do enjoy these things that I do. Then one day I decided to like upload like an original song for the first time ever, an original song. This was like three, three or four months after my dad passed away. So this cover was very intimate for me and I didn't want to post it. So when I posted it and I was like, wow, everyone, people were like, oh, why is here? Just watch it. You know, people could relate. And I knew that, oh, this music thing is really for me. You know, if I can make people feel what I feel just through the way I sing, then I'm in the right place. Right. So uh, what's your real collection of what really happened and uh, it caught the attention of Don Jazzy? Yeah, like I said, the the, the cover, the, the um, original song I did, that was the video that Don Jazzy saw when he messaged me. You know, like I said, that video, I, 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 I sing from the heart. Every single time I make music, I make music from the heart and I sing with my soul. You know, I sing with every piece of, of, of thing in my body. And you can tell that from my music. When you hear my music, you can hear the power, you can hear the emotions, and you can hear the raw euphoric intimacy and all, just all that. So I feel like when Jazzy heard that, when Jazzy watched that video, he could feel it because he told me that he hadn't even finished watching the video before he sent me a message. Fantastic. So I was like, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I listen to that song away, it's very unorthodox. Mm -hmm. It's not the usual sound. Uh, what do you think mm -hmm. about that song uh, made it connect with people as much as it, it has? Mm -hmm. Because I, I think why a way, because not a lot of people get to get to be that um, vulnerable in music, especially when it comes to Africa, you understand? When people listen to, um, when people make music, they, they are always singing about maybe girls or they are bragging about something. You know, me, I, I sang about what happened, like something that happened to me, an experience. And I sang it in a way that people can tap power from that and rise up from whatever is causing them sadness, encourage them, you understand? In people, Nigeria, in Nigeria and Africa, we, we, women are supposed to be strong all the time. African men are supposed to be strong all the time. Emotions, you showing your emotions is just, is a sign of vulnerability and people do not appreciate that. And I feel like the fact that I could put that into music just blew people's minds and people could take that power from the music. Right. And I like how you share yourself with, with the audience. In fact, even your EP was self-titled. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. What inspires you uh, when you are uh, to put together that project and what was the highlight uh, from that project for you? Um, the, the project, you know, it's like I said, I've been recording for a year. I said, I, I, my first time in a studio was 2020 January, you know, my first time making, making music. I just knew how to write. I just knew how to sing, but I'd never recorded music until 
you know, Jazzy invited me to his studio, you know. So when I started making the music, I just knew that, you know, I had to, people had to hear what I, what I had to offer, you understand? And Ira Star, the first EP was an introduction to me. You know, it's just an introduction. It's not who I am. It's not the complete me. You do, you, you, people don't even know what, what is about to come. You understand? So it's just the introduction. I want the people to, okay, see, this is, this is just the introduction. Let me just give you a tip of the iceberg. If you understand what I mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talking about what it is to come, uh, can you let us in into current projects, future projects as well? No, that, that is for me to know and for you guys to find out. <laughs> <laughs> but, but also, I mean, with your name now buzzing uh, everywhere, uh, is there any artist that you would want to work with uh, locally and internationally as well? Definitely. I would love to work with Burna Boy internationally, locally. Burna Boy is international. <laughs> Burna Boy is local everywhere. I love to work with Burna Boy <laughs> anytime, any day. I love Burner Boy. I love um, Caesar. I love, I'm obsessed with Caesar. I would love to have a song with her. I love Kendrick Lamar, um, Rihanna, um, you know, um, just all these amazing musicians that I've been listening to since I was young. I would really love to make music with them. Jay Z, oh my God, just imagine me on the track with Jay Z. That's it's going to be amazing. <laughs> and when it comes to Ghana, uh, what has been your uh, sort of experience with the space? Uh, have you? talk with any of our artists are you planning to do any sort of mini show or concert here as well don't worry you guys will see you guys will see i'm so excited i've never been to ghana and i've been talking to a lot of like ghanaian fans and everyone has been super sweet i've always wanted to come to ghana so the fact that i'm going to be coming to ghana as ira star is going to be mind-blowing i'm so excited chale <laughs> we, we look forward to that visit. Uh, any final yeah, me advice, too. Uh, for your fans, what they should expect, uh, etc. My fans, my stars, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for streaming the music and keep streaming. You know, I have more videos coming up from the EP, so I'm sure you're going to be excited about that. That's all I can give for now. I would like to surprise you guys with other things. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dara. Uh, Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.